All right, so a little spiel before we start is we're, we're entering the unit of rational functions. So the rational functions have points of discontinuity that we analyzed yesterday. Those points of discontinuity happen, when do they happen? Thank you. Now, as actually it wasn't a question, I was trying to get people to pay attention. So it was, uh, um, it, it's when we have division by zero. So we have points of discontinuity. So yesterday we spent and we analyzed all the points of discontinuity. Now we're going to name those points of discontinuity. So in the case of, um, let's do one. Let's say, um, let's do x plus 2 over, actually, let's do this. Let's do x squared minus 4 over x squared I thought we were done collecting. It's through next Wednesday. The next Wednesday? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, sorry, that's good to know. Okay, thank you. So that was a no. Okay. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> they did. They announced the winners on the announcements. Oh, it's still while we're running, like mid -se mid season. All right, mid season. Okay. Well, I have someone that's threatened to bring in two hundred dollars. So, so we'll see. Uh, let's not mention. It. All right, our video recording now. So, um. All right, this will work. All right, so there we go. So so x squared minus 4 over x squared plus 5x plus 6. So let's go in and to see division by 0, we have to see the, uh, the, the factors that will cause division by 0. So the factors in the denominator, that factors out to be x plus 3, x plus 2. Now, while we're at it, it's going to be important that we factor the numerator as well. So that's going to be uh, x minus 2 and x plus 2. So we can clearly see, everyone in the room, you can tell me if you don't, the numbers that are going to cause division by 0 are going to be negative 3 and negative 2. <coughs> What's that? No, because that's numerator. That'll be when it, right? So the division by zero, right there. So negative three and negative two. Okay, now, so basically, your points of discontinuity, x will never be allowed negative three and negative two. Those will not be on the graph. But look what happens. Look at this. I have a common factor, right? So it's going to be as simple as this. We could do a bunch of... We could spend a bunch of time, graph out a bunch of numbers, get really, really close to the asymptotes and, and, and analyze it. You've probably done it in algebra. But the rule will become, if it is a cancelable, so factors, I, I, I'm not talking funny, factor, the F word, if it cancels, it's, it's indifferent than a term. So factor, so if that cancels, x minus 2 over x plus 3. So... This function that I am boxing off right there behaves, I'm saying the word behave, um, like this, except those two functions are exactly the same except at the time negative 2. Because this factor, you're not allowed to have the negative 2 in it, and this is exactly the same thing. X plus 2 over X plus 2 is always going to be 1. And that just cancels. That's just 1. And so it will be exactly the same. But we've removed that discontinuity. It's called a removable discontinuity. You'll talk about it a bit in calculus. But you can obviously see that you've removed it, right? You've, so, so that discontinuity has been removed. But if you, you could try it and test me out one time. Graph that on your calculator and graph that on the calculator. They'll... Smack dab look like the exact same curve. On the test, you will miss this if you trust your calculator. So what I'm spending too long saying is obviously, basically, 
Here, I'll do this and I'll write it in a minute. If it cancels, it's a hole. If it doesn't cancel, it's a vertical asymptote. So that means the vertical asymptote has, it's going to be, it's going to look like that. It's going to look like an up and down line that doesn't exist on the curve. We just put the dashed line. So it will have an equation. A vertical asymptote is an equation. So the vertical asymptote will be x equals negative 3. And I'm not going to have you graph them today. That's not the point today, right? It's all going to come. Don't you worry. It will come. Um, then the factor that cancelled, the x plus 2, will be a whole. So on the curve, let me just go ahead and graph it for you. This is where you will go eventually, right? So you know at negative 3, we've got a vertical asymptote. I'm just giving you a picture that you're calculating. With you. So I'm going to give you a negative 3. We've got a vertical asymptote. I can see the horizontal asymptote is zero. So there's a horizontal asymptote right here. You don't know about that yet. We'll talk about that later. Um, you know that, oh my goodness, it won't move. It's going to crash. You know. You know that um, at time two it has an x intercept you don't know it yet but you will and at time um negative two at time at at x equals negative two there's a hole so there's going to be a hole somewhere in the curve so i'll need to know actually that's interesting Actually, I'm getting off on a, I'm going to, I want to go and do some work to find, test the points. How about this? How about I just say there's going to be a hole at negative two. I don't know where that hole is. So what I have to do to find the height of that hole is I have to plug. So here we are. If, we, if, you, if you're hearing nothing else here right now, to find the height of the hole, you have to plug the removed discontinuity, the one we canceled, you, the, the zero of that, you have to plug that back into the cancelled reduced function. Because look at it, if I plug negative 2 into there, it will cause division by zero, my calculator will error. If I plug negative 2 in here that behaves exactly like that, I can get an answer. So I'm going to plug negative 2 in there, so help me out, negative 2 minus 2 over negative 2 plus 3. Let me simplify that. That becomes negative 4 over negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So my hole happens at a y height of negative 4. So, summary, we have a vertical asymptote with an equation of x equals negative 3. I have a hole that happens. It's a point in space. It has an x coordinate of negative 2, and we found its y height by plugging it into the simplified fraction, and we calculated that out. So when I plug in negative 2, it has a height of negative 4. So that gives me all the information I need now. So at negative, negative 2, I have, negative, I have a hole there. That's what the function will look like, but that's not for that's not even for this lesson. I would test points, I would do stuff. That's not for this lesson. I was trying to give you a picture. But for for your lesson today, you are going to identify the points of discontinuity and label them as holes or vertical asymptotes and write the equation for vertical asymptotes and write the point for the hole. That's what you're going to do. So that's it for the lesson, and I'm going to give you the sheet to work on that, okay? So here we go. Yes, I can do the whole thing. I can put the whole thing on there for you. I can freeze it. Let me stop the recording. There you go. We can scroll up as much as we need. I'm going to freeze that. Because I was holding it in my hand, it was rocking. It looked really bad, but whatever.